Hey Ross and Janet, I thought I'd share with you what my studio looks like since you've been asking. This is my studio. Here's the wind chimes that I have made currently. And I have customers that come in and buy from me. These are all on my website. And then they usually want something custom that's not here, unfortunately. Over here is where I have big sheets of glass in different colors. Over here are some larger sheets. And then more under here and over here. And I still end up having to buy more. In these drawers are beads. Tons of beads in different colors. All kinds of sparkly stuff that go on my chimes. This is where I hang. Janet was asking how I do this standing up and no, I sit down. This is what I hang it on, which is a large stand. And then I sit in this high chair here. So I'm sitting down, I pull that chair up to this and sit, and I do all the beading on these strands. I lay them out on this right here, and then I have my beads here, and I do all the stringing right here. Over here is the Taurus Gemini Wet Saw. Here's the product. If you want to look it up online, you can see what it does. But basically, there's a reservoir of water in here that you fill up to this line here. I make my own patterns out of those um, plastic folders, and I cut them out, and then I lay this on top of a sheet of glass and then I cut it and you turn it on. So that's how I cut it. And then here's one of my finished products that I just did. This is on a, probably can't see it very well. Let me turn the light off. This is a pineapple that I just did. You can see all the intricate cutting here, which has to be done on the saw. It's a pineapple. And so I drilled holes then in the bottom here, as you can see, to hang the chimes. And then I also drilled holes here and here and connected front and back to connect these top pieces, plus I used a glass glue in there. So to drill the holes then, I have to have a wet bath like this, and then I use just a Dremel like this and drill the holes in these pieces. You have to do everything underwater and everything has to be done with a um, diamond bit to drill glass. The saw is a very expensive piece to use because of the replacement parts that have to be replaced. Um, all of these little doodads here have to be replaced periodically, but the big expense is this. It's a big circular diamond um, saw and it wears down after so many drillings. So basically, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And then this is my shop dog right here who keeps me company. Say hi, Pantley. Say hi to everybody. So if you have any questions, let me know. Love you guys. It's also my paint room, converts into a paint room. There's my brushes, here's my easel. 
Here's a current picture I'm, I have on standstill right now because I've been so busy with glass. Talk to you guys later.